Guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Excited today to tell you guys about the top 10 golf courses in Myrtle Beach. This is coming from a former golf package coordinator in the area. I know the courses very well, played them all many times. We're going to, uh, you know, judge these courses on a few factors here. You know, the course quality, how good the staff is, that, that's pretty big for all the customers coming in town. Course design, how, you know, the quality of the holes, they not all the same, boring holes, good holes, whatnot. The course conditions, that's also very important. You know, can't be playing on some crap. And then the value also, how good the course is per the dollar you paid. So let's get started. Number 10 is TPC Myrtle Beach. It's a 1999 Tom Fazio design. They pretty much designed it to start hosting the Senior Tour Championship. I think they did that four or five years there. And could be better, but they don't drain that well. Poor drainage there. Uh, a couple of really tight holes make them hard, you know. Sometimes difficult is not, not always the greatest thing. So one of the harder courses in the area. And the price point is not the best either. Getting pretty, pretty pricey there. So that's limiting it from, you know, anything higher than 10. Number nine, a bit of an underrated course, is the Avocet Course at Wild Wing Plantation. It's a 1993 Larry Nelson design. He's a three-time major champion. Not, none other courses here in the area really can boast that. He's a Ryder Cup captain. Um, this course is real wide, fun, not much, not a lot of trouble. There's no homes on the whole entire back nine. Um, there's a drivable par four and then a short par five back to back. It's a real fun course, a lot of mounding. Um, now my main thing there is it's just real wide. I love that. So come down here on vacation. Why play something super tight? We're going to lose a bunch of balls. So that's number nine, Wild Wing. Let's move on to number eight. Thistle Golf Club. Up in Sunset Beach, North Carolina. I have 27 holes. It's a 1999 Tim Kate design, Scottish style course. They have the um, sodded lips of the bunkers. Very nice. Uh, they put in new seats in the carts. Pretty much got to say they have the comfiest seats in, in the, all of the courses in the area. You know, it's like sitting in your couch there. You ride, you know, ride, ride those seats all the way around 27 holes, three different unique nines, beautiful, beautiful scenery, not many homes. Good conditions. Got to put this up there. Number eight. Now let's move on to number seven. Is Caledonia Golf and Fish Club. Wow, that might shock some of you guys, but I'm not rating it that high. The main factor limiting that is the price. It's way up there. There's better course design. I do like the designer, Mike Strantz. His first ever course, 1994, but just a bit too short, too gimmicky. You know, they dress up the, the lane driving in, try to have their little Magnolia Lane, but, you know, I'd rather just go to Magnolia Lane, so you're going to pay $250, $300. Um, but overall, you know, it's still a good ranking. Well, many folks have that one or two in the area, but I'm sliding it all the way down to seven, Caledonia. One last bit about that. I feel like they just kind of ran out of room there. 17 good holes, number nine. It's like a 90-yard par three. Just kind of squeezed it in there right as you drive in, ran out of room almost. So let's move on to number six. Uh, right down the street from there is Pauly's Plantation. The 1988 Jack Nicklaus design. He has two courses in the area, but this is his best one. Number six in the Myrtle Beach area. Um, they renovated it, just reopened 2023. Redo, re, you know, took out a lot of bunkers, redid the greens and a few other things. They have a, just a phenomenal back nine right on the marsh there, 13 and 17, two incredible par threes. Can't go wrong with Pauly's Plantation. Let's move on to number five. The resort course at Grand Dunes. It was in, built in 2001. It's uh, Roger Rulick, never heard of him, but he designed it. You put build it right on this bluff overlooking the intercoastal waterway. Got six or seven holes right right overlooking that. They're great, really good holes. You have a beautiful Spanish style clubhouse, really nice homes. 
uh, around the course, big, you know, similar Spanish style homes. They're nice. The conditions are always good there. Have a great driving range and you can push it back to 7,600 yards. They co-hosted the club pro championship. I think it was 2014. So really good course. Number five, Grand Dunes. Number four is Prestwick. 1989, Pete, Pete and PB, his son, co-designed it. It's a beautiful course. They're known for some of their best screens in the area. Fast, undulating, fun to putt, tough to putt. Uh, they have pot bunkers there, the classic uh, Pete Dye railroad ties. He has a lot of that. Really good course. The price isn't too bad for his quality it is. So, you know, a lot of people don't have that in their top five, top ten, but I'm telling you, it's in there. Number four, Prestwick. Number three is Tidewater. To 1990, Ken Tomlinson, again, never heard of him, but he designed a heck of a course. It's also known as the Pebble Beach of the East, Tidewater. They have no out of bounds, play everything is hazard, lateral. You get free drops from the backyard, which is huge. Love that, but they have two or three beautiful holes right on the, uh, on the waterway there like a half mile from the beach you're looking out towards towards the homes that are on the beach i think it's four and twelve three and four and twelve they're just great holes it's a championship course it's long it's got it all and uh number three yeah you know, it's pretty much similar ranking to where that's ranked in, in a lot of people's top 10 so i think it deserves it not a crazy price point it deserves it number two true blue 1998 Mike Strantz, I, you know, I had Caledonia number seven, but right across the street, it's sister course, True Blue, honestly, is a better course. Five par fives, five par threes, some holes, 60, 80, maybe even 100 yard wide fairways. Just love to send driver there. It's a great course, really no out of bounds. They have undulating fun to putt greens, got some speeder slopes, land it long, suck it back, off the side, that type of thing. A lot of fun. It's true blue. Price isn't crazy. It's worth it. Number two. And number one. Dunes Golf and Beach Club. Probably not a huge surprise. The Dunes Golf and Beach Club. It was opened in 1947 A Robert Trent Jones design. It's hosted the U.S. Women's Open, Senior Tour Championships. It's hosting the PGA Tour Myrtle Beach Classic starting next year in 2024 putting in redesign since then and they even redesigned the greens like two or three years ago perfect greens best greens on the beach 13 14 on the stem perfect the clubhouse sits over overlooking the water the beach right there uh number nine you can see it that's really it the only hole you can see the beach but you got to deal with what you can get i mean it's a great course it's getting a little pricey there but it's worth it that pj tour name is huge so that's my top 10 there. A couple of notes. I know Barefoot's in there. They're good courses. I have them probably just outside, but it's tough to justify spending $200, $250 for a round when you have, you know, the Wild Wings and, and the Press Wicks and some of these that are $100, $150. So uh, Barefoot's don't, don't make the cut. That wraps it up for the video, though. Let me know what you think, where you have your rankings at. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe. Peace.